Alright, a couple of questions I got asked when showing the 20mm EDF I've been working on. One, how do I measure it? That's this thing here. I've got a tiny 50 gram scale here. I've mounted a little block on there, give you plenty of air. And then I've got my little 30mm down to 20mm adapter, which I just masking tape on when it's in there. So we just masking tape it up, push it up nice and tight so it wedges in there pretty good. And then we turn on the meter, turn on the power, and away we go. Now normally I support the cable so it's level. So I have the wire sitting level. I usually support it with a, a box or a container so that it's not pulling down or pulling up while I'm doing the testing. All right. Now the other noise. I wanted to hear this thing running. Okay, let me set that up. All right. So I hooked it all up. So you don't have to go through the pains watching me do that. The um, I've got an advanced this ESC here. It's stuttering on me. Just there, I can feel it stutter on the motor. But this is what it sounds like. So if I point that towards the speaker, see if we get an airflow going on there with the whooshy whooshy on it. A nice um, exit, just here you can feel it. It really comes together right here, past this pit. There's a dead spot there, but here it's all coming together. This was the plan. And there it is. Pretty sure it won't go anywhere with that sort of idle speed. Now, oh, I don't know whether this will focus or not. We'll give it a try. Just let me disconnect the power so I don't short anything out. Because this is a chopped up three blader, seen it before apparently, according to Pete. Um, you can see the amount of holes I had to dig into that side. Okay, we'll try for a macro. I had to um, drill several holes, oh there we go, several holes to balance this sucker out. So these things, when they're eject injection molded, are quite uneven. So, yeah, once again, it always pays to balance out your unit. With this one, what I did, I actually use blue tack. Now I usually suggest tape, but this is so slippery that the tape wouldn't adhere to it very well. I think I might have blown the blue tack away. Doi! Because it was here. So I used a little tiny ball of blue tack and stuck it to the hub, um, moved it around until it went quiet, or the quietest, added and took it off and then started drilling on the opposite side and taking off a bit of blue tack at a time until of course there was no blue tack and just holes and a balanced um, I've got a video of that way back then alright, there we have it